The next major characteristic of the animal phyla that people get confused about are body cavities. And notice these are body cavities, not digestive cavities, digestive tracts, intestinal tracts, etc. Those have nothing to do with what we call a body cavity. The general term for a body cavity is a coelom, C-O-E-L-O-M. Now we have three classes of body cavities. All of these relate to whether or not there is a space between the digestive tract and the body wall, and whether or not that space has a lining of something we call mesenteries. Uh, organisms like flatworms are acelomate. A means without, coelom, body cavity, eight means possessing. So acelomate translates roughly as not having a body cavity. And they have an opening for the digestive tract, immediately covered by solid body with no space between the two. The next level of evolution is when an open space actually starts to develop between the inner digestive tract and the outer body wall. So this is the space right around it. But that space is without a lining. So it's like a coelom, or body cavity, but it's unlined. Therefore, we call it a false body cavity. Pseudo means false. Coelomate, bearer of a body cavity. And so these have false body cavities. There's only one phylum like this in the list that you look at in this course, and that's the nematodo, or the roundworms. And finally, most of the rest of the organisms in the phyla you'll study are truly coelomate. They have true body cavities, a space between the gut and the body wall that is lined. And here I've illustrated the lining uh, around the gut tube, around the body wall, and then connecting between the body wall and the gut tube in order to hold this gut in place. So acelomate without a coelom, pseudocelomate with an unlined or false body cavity, and coelomate having a true lined body cavity. And again, these have nothing to do with digestive cavities. That's a very common mistake students make. Let's quit there.